Boom. 5150. Mark. Jimmy Cabs. Zeke tonight. First of all, this is an interesting bill that you're on on this tour. Thank you, by the way, for taking the time to speak yeah, with me. Absolutely. You're playing with Dixie and Weed Eater. Oh, yeah. There, we're, uh, we're on tour with uh, Weed Eater uh, until August 9th. And, uh, you know, yeah, we've always been huge fans of Weed Eater. And, you know, uh, so we wanted to do this. We're both, you know, both really happy about the way it's been going. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's you get a little bit of fast, you get a little bit of slow. It's kind of like a kind of like a speed ball, but <laughs> hopefully a little healthier. You know, it's a, it's a really good metaphor because it is a speed ball from going from Zeke to Weed yeah, Eater. A horrible metaphor, terrible metaphor. I'm sorry. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. How is the audience that is not familiar with Zeke? Because believe it or not, you've been around for fuck. What is it? Over twenty something years yeah. now? Well, twenty five years. Maybe 27 years. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think about it too much. But um, yeah, I don't want to and think we, about there's, it there's been a lot of hiatuses, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, um, so, you know, like we were kind of hoping that, you know, like uh, there, there, we figured we felt like there was a core, you know, like, uh, you know, there, there would be some common, you know, a, a common fan base. And of course, Usually we've been getting like the Zeke fans at the beginning, you know, when we play, and then you get the Weed Eater fans at, at when he, Weed Eater plays. So <laughs> we can love Weed Eater, and Weed Eater can love us, and the fans can love you know, Weed Eater and Zeke separately if that's what they need to do. But yeah, actually, there's 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 quite a bit of crossover. You know, a lot of people, I don't know, man. It feels like you know some 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 Zeke fans, you know, went went, oh my God, so there's some people that sound like Black Sabbath now, and they're kind of you know, defected to the weed eater, you know, and then maybe the other way around. I don't know. So it's, it's, it doesn't matter. You know, we're, it's, it's almost like this tour is just for us, you know, and, you know, we, we, we've been touring all year, you know, we've done two tours in Europe. We've done two tours in the States since the album came out. Let's talk about the new album, Hellbender. Yeah. So this album came out two months ago, Relapse Record, Hell. This record took a while to come out. What was the reason for that? Uh, yeah, it took like it took like six years because we started writing the album, yeah, six years ago with uh, a, a different lineup, and uh, you know it was it was actually a, more along the lines of the last relapse release, which was slower and heavier kind of stuff, you know, till the living end was, you know, slower and heavier, and uh, this out al this album was supposed to kind of be along those lines, and it, and it was, it was. It was pretty epic. We had an actual seven-minute Zeke song. You can imagine that. And uh, I didn't hard to imagine. Well, it's it's true, you know. And uh, 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 you know, and it was supposed to be called Thunder in the Ozarks. It was a whole different. It was a different. It was a completely different set of songs. We went into the studio with with Tad uh, at which at Witch Ape in Seattle, and uh, we came out. I had to go to work. When I came back from work a year later, the, my my whole band had left me. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and so you know they had to, they had to work, you know, and uh, and then uh, I talked to Kurt, and we reassembled the band, and uh, we started. I started teaching them the songs that were supposed to be uh, Thunder in the Ozarks, and uh, and then I just thought, you know what, screw this, man. Let's just, I just want to do a, a straight up rock and roll album. It's going to be the fastest rock and roll album ever recorded. We're going to do it, and we. It took us two weeks. I'm sorry, we 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 wrote half the album in a week. We went and recorded that half of the album with Jack and Dino in two weeks. No, I'm sorry. Four days. Wow. And then, uh, and and then, you know, it, it took him a little while to, to to produce it or whatever, or you know, mix it. And then we came back, uh, went, we did, we, we toured the the states, did a little couple of shows in Europe, came back, did another week, of, wrote the half, the next half of the album in about a week, and then we recorded that in I, uh, about the same, a little bit long, took a little bit longer the second time around, because we had. Slayer hippie from Poison Idea in the studio, and he was <laughs> he was complicating things. He he was like, "Let me play on this song, let me play on that song. Here, you need to mix it like this, Jack." And then they'd be fighting about it for a while. So, but uh, we finally got it done. Uh, I think that I'm, I'm glad we did what we did because I'm really proud of the results. You know, I, I, it's been a long time since I just went into the studio and fucking played live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. We kicked it out, and it turned out okay, man. I you know, love one the of the things that I've always liked about about Zeke, but as you mentioned the prior record, I did like the heaviness and the direction yeah. you were going, but did you find that you are maybe alienating that 
branch of a fan base that refuses to accept Zeke other than the, let me watch what I say here, adrenaline in a healthy way, yeah. the adrenaline Zeke. Yeah, well, um, yeah, part of me, you know, just kind of doesn't care. Of course because, not. Because That's what this music is all about. I'm not I'm, giving a fuck. I'm only doing, I, I do this for myself. And you know if that and if and if that can't sustain itself tomorrow, okay, I'm good with that. And if it does, and people want to hear it, then I'm I'm, I'm glad about that too. It's I'm, I'm, it's not it does anything to do it, nothing against anybody that likes my music. It's just that I, I can't do it for everybody else. I have to do it for myself. Uh, I think it just turned out the way that it that that, that it did.